Many people don't realize how powerful project roles are in Jira. They often set up their users and place their users into groups. But doing this is not a very effective approach in certain cases. Let me give you an example of a particular scenario. Let's have a look at the projects that we have set up here. Now let's take this Avenger Core Systems project and also take the Justice League Crime Monitoring System. Both of these are software development projects and we want to organize them in such a way so that they both use the same permission schemes. Now let's go to administration and look at our issues. Scroll down and here's our permission schemes. You can see here at the moment we have one default permission scheme shared with every project. And the way that this scheme is set up is based on our project roles. So you can see the administrator's role has the ability to administer projects. And then you've got the user's role able to browse a project. But when you're looking at things like editing issues and scheduling them and moving them and assigning them, it all goes to the developer's role. So this developer's role is crucial in setting up our project team. Roles are defined underneath user management. Click on roles. And by default, Jira has the administrators, developers and users role. Every project has the same roles, but you put different people in each role for each project. So how do we assign our project team? Let's go to our projects, starting with the Avengers core systems and go to the project administration. Now this is an area that project administrators can access. So if we jump here and click on roles, you can see there we've got the administrators, developers and users. And all we need to do is place our users into our developers role. This is one way to assign or set up our project team. So for this Avengers core systems project, we're going to put in our development team here and our development team will consist of Tony Stark and it will consist of the Wolverine. So being a Marvel core system, we want to make sure that only our Marvel characters can be developers in this project. We hit update and that places those two individual users into the developers role. And that means our Tony Stark and Wolverine can perform whatever function is configured for our developers role based on our permission scheme. On the other hand, let's jump into the Justice League project, the crime monitoring system. Go to administration and go to the roles. And you can see here how we have the same roles, but we can put different people in them. So for this project, we want to place our Justice League members as developers. So let's put in Clark Kent and let's put in Lois Lane. So Clark and Lois are the developers for our Justice League crime monitoring system. And with this approach, both of our projects can use the same permission scheme and we're essentially configuring a different team in each one. The other advantage of this approach is with these project roles, you only need to be a project administrator in order to assign people to roles. So that means you can take some of the administration workload off your main JIRA administrators.